Hello and welcome to Dentrix Does It. In this video, I'll show you EDEX, a new feature introduced in Dentrix G6. EDEX allows you to quickly search and view information for patients and other contacts in Dentrix with a single search by first or last name, address, email address, or phone number. To access EDEX, use the icon from the Dentrix toolbar found in any module. The first time EDEX opens, you'll be presented with a one-question setup dialog box. If passwords are enabled in Dentrix, EDEX can be configured to lock users out after a specified period of time. You can also access this question from the EDEX Settings button. Select Enable Lockdown, and then type the number of minutes that must pass before EDEX locks itself down. In the top left corner, you can type directly into the search box. For example, if the caller ID shows that the last four digits of the phone number are 7244, I type that in and I find that it matches the mobile number of one of my patients. At this point, I can choose the More Info button at the top right or any of the modules at the bottom left, and it launches that module and selects the patient for me. During my conversation with the patient, she mentioned that she was very excited to just start dental school. I can append her patient notes so that this information goes to her family file. Also during our conversation, she asks a question about her insurance. I can click the hyperlink and open up details about the plan. From here I also see the names of other patients with the same plan. And if I double click any of these names, it will open that patient file, opening a series of tabs across the top of the window. Using the Set Filters button, you can determine what EDEX will include or exclude from a search. EDEX will let me search across inactive, non-patient, or even archived patients, employers, insurance carriers, laboratories, and even your own custom entries. EDEX allows you to add custom contact information of any kind here. For example, I'll begin creating a list of pharmacies. First, I'll choose the New Contact button. Since I do not yet have a category for pharmacies, I'll choose Category Setup and add my name. Pick a color and choose an image. Now I can add my pharmacy information. As long as I'm viewing my new category in the Set Filters area, I can search for and call up that pharmacy. You can edit contacts as necessary to keep the EDEX database current. When I search for the pharmacy that I just entered a moment ago, I then click the Edit button. And that's how Dentrix does it. For more tips and training, please visit the Online Resource Center.